let's talk about that hat. What what's going on there? <laughs> this hat, you talk about memories. This was made by my mom. Actually, no, this was not made by my mom. This was made by a friend of my mom's. Okay. Who does, who does crocheting of uh, sock hats, and we actually had one made for a friend of mine's child okay. who was into Thomas and. Me growing up in the 90s, you can't not know about Thomas the Tank Engine, so I'm like, well, yeah, I want one obviously. to get on that. <laughs> so, here we are. That's an amazing hat. I love it. Uh, speaking yeah, of... The Tank Engine wasn't as big here in America no. as in the UK. Uh, like, we knew it's still of it, brilliant. but it wasn't as, you know, well-known. No. Impy says, uh, <laughs> does the hat behave better than Thomas at the MVR? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I behave better than Thomas at the Tennessee Valley Rare Museum. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Funny story, actually, at the Neem Valley Railway where I volunteer, we've got the original. Uh, and I'll tell you why this is. Um, the Reverend W. Audrey, uh, who wrote the original books, uh, actually lived near Peterborough in Cambridgeshire. And um, he used he knew of this little blue tank engine that worked uh, the, at the British Sugar Factory in Peterborough, and it was that tank engine that he wrote the books based on. Now that was his inspiration. Uh, and as a result of this, when the Peterborough Railway Society was formed, when the what now is the Neen Valley Railway was originally closed during the beaching cuts, uh, the the blue tank engine uh, number. What, what, what is Thomas's number? Number 1800, there we go, uh, was sold to the Peterborough Railway Society, uh, and the Reverend W. Audrey actually came and named it Thomas. So we have wow, got the original. Awesome. It is awesome. It's, it is awesome. Do you know what else is awesome? Speaking of arts and crafts projects, I'm just going to spin the webcam around here. Mm. My dad built me that when I was a baby. That is a uh, original bookshelf. Uh, which my dad made, and it is absolutely brilliant. I mean, it took him a further two decades to actually mount the thing on the wall, but... <laughs> Barely I've never. seen that in some of your videos. I've been meaning to ask you about that, as a matter of fact. That is so cool. It is. It's awesome. And I, I wish I could sort of take you around and show it you properly, but the webcam won't get that far. But you're, you're getting a pretty good view there. It is, it is so awesome. It is. is. That I'd, is really cool. It's, I bet it took him forever to make it. Oh, yeah. No, no, he spent ages in our garage, you know, sawing wood and all sorts. It's absolutely amazing. And if you open up the side, it has got all the original books in there, uh, which, oh, which nice. is awesome. Yeah, I love that thing. Actually, I didn't know Thomas the Tank Engine was based on a book. You didn't know that? Oh, yeah, there's a whole in. We didn't if, know. If, if, you, if, you, if you watch in the beginning of the show, there's like a Hang on a minute. Thing. The tea fairy's you, assisting me with it, something. Probably. There we go. There's the books. And again, now that I think about it, I think Thomas the Tank Engine scared me a bit as a kid. Well, but to be again, fair, I, I honestly, sort of position. There you go. We saw kid. the T Fairy's face for a minute there, folks. There you go. That's I, special moment. Bye, T Fairy. Oh dear.